Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so beard discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul but I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all I'm so excited for today's video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a ghost in this room. No it's just gravity. Hi, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, where the fun never ends. If you're new here, this video idea was created and crafted by my wonderful friend, Imperfectly M. Essentially, this is a new makeup release video, except we comb through Instagram, taking all the top products that have come out the last week or so, throw them in a folder, use a random number generator, and we call upon the images as if we were playing bingo. But to make things a little extra spicy, we introduce adult libations because nothing screams bingo than drinking a whole thing of vodka. Anyway, <laughs> if you're ever interested in wanting to play this at home, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box as well. Also, definitely go check out Imperfectly M and tell them I said hi. And of course, check out their Twitch as well. They've been streaming almost daily, so definitely go check out Emily and watch Emily play Kirby. It's everything you want it to be and more. Here's today's makeup products. Here's my bingo card. Without further motherfucking ado, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Band. You, welcome to you. <laughs> this is filled up and it spilled all over my Magic School Bus shirt. God damn it, Alex. <laughs> no, I listen. Thank you so much for making this cocktail for me and thank you for making it extra stiff. And so much that now I have vodka all over my clothes. Thank God I don't smoke because <laughs> that would be dangerous. <laughs> anyway, uh, what am I drinking tonight? I am drinking Gamer Subs Peach Iced Tea, no caffeine because it is late. I'm filming this around nine o'clock at night and um, mama needs to go to bed because I got to wake up tomorrow. So we're having that mixed with a lot of vodka because today was fucking rough. Rough. I, I wanted to go. Arf, arf. <laughs> Then I realized how not menacing that sounded, but whatever, rough, rough. That is delicious. Let's look at some makeup, shall we? Shall we? Do 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 do. I don't know why it's so stuck in my head. Ba do do do. Ba do ba do. It's not like Seinfeld for a second. Ooh, I can't do that for too long. I'll get copyright. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we got here today, kids? Oh, okay, listen, listen, I kind of like this. Not all of it, but I kind of like some of it. So Wet n Wild Beauty has a collaboration with Alice in Wonderland. Why Alice in Wonderland? I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't know why. Listen, Disney is sleeping with everybody, okay? Everybody's grabbing a little piece of them. So why not be Wet n Wild? I will say though that this is, I don't know, like it's cute. Here's the thing. I feel like when Disney collaborates with ColourPop, I'm like, ooh, for the most, for the most part, for the most part, right? They're like, ooh. <laughs> when it comes to the actual products it's like real hit or miss so seeing this I immediately think about the Alice in Wonderland collection and how that was like it wasn't bad it wasn't terrible but it wasn't bad right but there are some things in this wet and wild collection that I'm like oh bitch I need to have it first you have a palette I don't care I don't really give a shit about it first of all two of the shades look exactly identical <laughs> so I'm guessing one's a matte one's a shimmer yep that's exactly what it is Teresa good job um this it, it's basically like just 
neutral you know what it kind of looks like it kind of looks like a mixture of the oh fuck what was it the pat mcgrath holiday palette the one that had that like royal purple and gold in it i don't know it kind of gives me that vibe a little bit but then you kind of have like this pink and purple which really makes me think of Too faced anyway it's kind of like a hodgepodge of fucking colors like okay i get it i guess you know i give them points for at least having the blue match alice's dress that's pretty fucking cool but everything else i'm just like all right whatever i know i'm not gonna have any fun with the palette <laughs> whatever who gives a shit now now the things though, the things that are really fucking interesting are these little trios down here. So you have a highlighter, a blush palette, and a bronzer palette. I want all of that. That's what I want. I think those are the things that just look so fucking scrumptious that I can't wait to put it all over my goddamn face. Now y'all know lately I have been going on a drugstore journey and drugstore has been better than most of the shit that you would find in Sephora or Ulta. And it's been surprising the fuck out of me too, okay? Like I swear to you, this goddamn palette Powder, this stupid CoverGirl Simply Ageless powder. Motherfucker, I'm about to hit pan on this shit. This is how much I use it every day. Shantakai who? Fuck yourself, okay? <laughs> this powder is so good. It's so good. I like it looks like I've had it for years, but it's almost, wow, it's really almost pan. You know, I'm getting a little nostalgic because the other day I panned the Jones Road bronzer. I shouldn't say panned. That would imply that I used the whole fucking thing. I just hit pan, like literally just, I hit gold and I was like, oh my God. Okay, so that's to me, is like how I'm defining pan. I know I'm a fucking moron, but like whatever, just excuse me, okay? Anyway, so when I see something like this, it just makes me happy. But then also ultimately, <laughs> fucks me up because the amount of money that I've spent on like mid-range to high-end shit and I'm just gravitating towards fucking drugstore. It, I didn't see it on my bingo card for 2023, did you? Not fucking me. But here we are and I'm so excited about this Wet n Wild collection. I haven't picked up anything from Wet n Wild in a hot minute and I feel like it's just about that fucking time. So anyway, those are the three things that I really want to pick up. Then you have like a liquid eyeliner. Eh, whatever. I don't give a shit. Usually Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner in the past never worked for me so I'm not putting too much stock into it. And then you have these lip products and the lip products look lovely. They look like basic bitch colors. They are my speed. Those are some things that I would actually pick up. But if I had to just pick like a couple of items, it would clearly just be the complexion things. Those are the things that really speak to me. There's also a brush set, a nail file, a makeup bag, and apparently a sponge set, which is not in the photo. No, is the makeup bag in the fucking photo? I don't know what, what makeup bag is this? Is that the makeup bag? What the fuck is that? It looks like a weird tote thing. All right, the more I look at the accessories, the more I side eye. <laughs> but, I do want to find these in person. I believe they're at Target right now or like some Targets have like a little end cap of these. I've been on the lookout for them. I haven't seen it yet, but the day is still, well actually no, I can't really film right now anyway because Target will be closing in about an hour, but let's get drunk and go to Target. Okay, no, sorry. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked here. Hold on a second. I feel like I'm drinking moonshine right now. <laughs> Point is, I want it. Mama wants it. Mama's gonna get it. Mama needs it now. <laughs> I am thoroughly excited. So yeah, on one hand, I'm like, ew, about this collection. <laughs> Especially that fucking pressed glitter that I see. I think that's pressed glitter. It looks like a pressed glitter. And for that, I say for shame, wet and wild. But whatever. I'm not going to judge too hard. Because the highlighter, blush, and bronzer looks so fucking good. It looks so good. It looks good. I can't wait to put it all over my face. So, uh, yeah. With that said, I think that's what I'm going to call it. Put it on my face. I want it now. I want it now, daddy. I want it now, daddy. <laughs> Give it to me now, daddy. Next. Oh, this is another one that I want to literally put, I was about to say all over my scrotum. I don't have one. <laughs> I, to you today, listen y'all, today was fucking rough. You ever had to like talk to people in meetings and like it takes all the energy in you not to be like, talking to them like they're a fucking moron. Like that's literally all, like at least two hours of my day. I'm fucking salty. <laughs> I'm a salty fucking five guys french fry. I am so fucking salty right now. Anyway, hi, how are you? <laughs> this is another product that I want to put all over my fucking face. And I'm super excited, but I'm also a little like, hmm, hmm. Because some of this yummy skin stuff has been okay for me and some of it has been like, 
Hmm. This is the Yummy Skin Soothing Serum Skin Tint Foundation. That is a fucking mouthful. Yummy Skin Soothing Serum Skin Tint Foundation with peptides and ceramides. Listen, I, fucking no, I st stop no further. Okay, you say ceramides, I'm literally all about that. This is a hydrating and smoothing skincare infused skin tint that provides light coverage and a skin-like radiant finish. It's a light coverage, a radiant finish, and it's a liquid formula. Has a bunch of other shit in there. Blah, 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 blah. Has 16 flexible shades and the shade it's kind of match their bomb currently that they have, right? I'm a little fucked up about this because I'm going to New York next week. So next Friday, I'll be in New York. And this is the kind of product that would have been fucking amazing. I don't know why it sounded like a demon, but that would be amazing for me to have in New York. Like, oh my God, like look at like my skin. It's like so cute. And like, I love this like, kind of like lighter coverage option and I'm all about that. So it would have been really fucking nice to test. But that didn't happen because uh, this brand decided to say, fuck you, Teresa. <laughs> We're gonna release it so close to when you have to go that you're just going to be nervous the whole time that if you do order it and they do leave it outside your house that there's gonna be days before you pick it up. So either someone's either gonna take it or some animal is gonna piss on it, okay? <laughs> And I say animal because there have been cranes that have been like walking around the property. So what if the crane takes it? I mean, that would be actually kind of funny. <laughs> just, one day I just see a crane with like, just like a smoky eye. <laughs> be mad at that no i can't be mad at that that's just pretty fucking cute actually point is i want to buy it but i i just i just can't it's too close to when i leave and sephora fucks me like that where they'll say that they'll ship it even if i did pay for expedited shipping they're like ah, you want it in a day bitch you're getting it in four and i'm like but i already paid twenty dollars and they're like i don't give a shit bitch okay i call this a convenience fee and i'm like convenient to ooh, not to me but to them because they just made twenty dollars off of me and i just got stuck with regular shipping anyway the point is i want this and when i do get home right because i'm only going to new york for a few days it's, i'm making it sound like i'm going to be there for three years it's really like five days okay but it's gonna be a glorious five days i'm really excited about it and now i think it doesn't look like mars anymore so it's even better anyway point is i'm excited about this and i want to get it because i like Danessa myricks but i'm a little like because some of the yummy skin stuff has not really been all that amazing for me. I think their blush formula as of late, their highlighter formula has been fucking amazing. But when it comes to the bombs, it was fine. <laughs> it was okay. It had its moment. Sometimes it was good. Sometimes it was just okay. Not enough for me to be like, this is fucking amazing. And then of course, the foundation that came out with it was, eh. the primer was fantastic, but the foundation was like really finicky. So I don't know. Like I said, I'm on the fence, but I'm excited about it. But anyway, expect a review uh, when I get home. I'm just gonna order it when I get home so I feel safe. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be too paranoid the whole fucking time and not enjoy myself because I'm not gonna be able to see my package on the ring camera. <sighs> anyway, I don't think I can call this anything except my anxiety is fucking off the charts. <laughs> Next. Oh, I like this. I like this so much my dick hurts. Like. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna keep drinking on that one. What is with me? I just said scrotum now dick. Like I, I am just a fucking mess today. I'm a mess. All right, so anyway, Tarte came out with this mini man eater palette. I have the big one. And can I tell you, do not sleep on that fucking palette. I know I just decluttered a Tarte palette and that was just too sleepy, too boring for me. But this one though, the man eater one, that is disgusting. Disgusting in the best way possible. Like fuck that palette up, okay? Like that's a great palette. When Tarte does something right, they do something right. Sometimes they're kind of like middle of the road, not so good, but that palette's fantastic. So seeing a little palette of that, I'm like, oh, bitch, I want it. And I kind of want it, but I'm like, why? But you have the bigger one. I I don't know if there is some shade overlap. I could get up. Wait, is that? No, wait, Man Eater After Dark. Oh wait, maybe this is a completely different palette. Hold on, hold on. Now I'm a fucking moron. Wait a second. I think mine's Man Eater After Dark, right? Yep, that's what it was. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, God damn. Okay. Oh yeah, completely. Okay, so. <laughs> such a fucking moron. I really thought this was like the baby version of like Man Eater After Dark. No, this is Man Eater 3. <sighs> Reading is hard, y'all, okay? 
I know there's so many people probably rolling their eyes being like, Teresa, you're stepping a stupid bitch. I'm trying, babe. I'm trying, all right? It's not really fucking working out for me. Anyway, so Man Eater Volume 3, $32 for a nine pan palette of mattes and shimmers. And I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. And now knowing that it's not Man Eater After Dark, maybe I'll pick it up because this looks like a fun palette that I got to have. Actually, do I need to have this? No, I don't need to have this. I feel like if I buy it in a year from now, I'll declutter it. So why not I just save myself the, the fucking heartache and the $32 and um, I don't know. I was literally just going to say, put it on the ponies. I don't even know. I think a fucking old man possessed me. The fuck is going on tonight? All right, okay, but obviously I'm going to the OTB later. What the fuck? Alex, what the fuck did you put in my drink? Any hoozies. Okay, so I kind of want this, but I'm not gonna buy it, but my dick hurts looking at it. <laughs> My makeup dick is throbbing for this. I hate, I hate, I hate that. I hate that, like, right now I look like a swamp queen, right? So the palette that I use tonight, which by the way, don't fucking sleep on this brand, Martine. This is the first palette I've ever tried from them. This is fucking everything. Okay, this is everything. And uh, I, I look like a colorful fucking sea goblin. And here I am literally being like, oh my God, like I'm sucking this thing off. Like, this is amazing. I need to have this fully knowing that I have at least seven palettes that look like death to this. The fuck is wrong with me? I hate shiny things, but I also love them too. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna call this an Ann palette because that's what this is. This is an Ann palette. And um, if I keep drinking, it might be mine, but we'll, we'll put a pin in that. Ann palette. Next. I hate how cute these are. I absolutely hate how fucking cute these kimchi palettes are. They're so cute. These are the donut palettes. I hate how much I love the aesthetic and the shadows fucking murder my eyeballs. I don't know why. I don't know what's in them, but it's enough to make me cry for days. Like if you want to torture me, buy me a kimchi eyeshadow palette. Actually, that's my own personal hell. I get to hell and they're like, hey, great. Welcome. Here's all the makeup you can use. By the way, it's just kimchi beauty. <laughs> Go nuts. And I'm like, fuck, my eyes are always gonna be bleeding. <laughs> anyway, so when I see this, I get excited. And let me tell you, I almost, almost thought about purchasing that neutral bacon one. Yeah, the maple bacon glaze. Again, going back to the Man Eater 3, I have this palette seven times over. Yet here I am fawning over it like a stupid bitch. Cause I'm like, ooh, do I have the color combination in that manner? Yes, I do. <laughs> Maybe not in this exact fucking layout, but at least two of these palettes match this. What is wrong with you? But I kind of want it. I don't know. Anyway, the aesthetic of kimchi, I fucking love. I love that kimchi is a little tiny donut. It's, oh God. I love cute, stupid things. And if they're fat, that's even better, okay? <laughs> the fatter, the better. It's fucking, if they're round and they're tiny, like I just want to squeeze the like, like I just love it. And so seeing this, all I want to do is just squeeze the shit out of it because I know that's the only way that I'm ever gonna really enjoy it because I can't put it on my face because it's gonna fucking blind me. So I can't, I just can't. But anyway, I love it. I love the, the color story. I love the sprinkle one, the rainbow sprinkles. That one's pretty cute. Although again, there are two kind of shades that look eerily the same. But not really. Oh, is one of them a pressed glitter? It's fucked up. I don't know. But I also love the strawberries and cream. That one is a cute fucking palette. I love the color story of that one. Actually, my two favorites are the strawberries and cream and the maple bacon glaze. It's the rainbow sprinkles for me that's like, hmm. Probably my least favorite, but still pretty fucking adorable. <gasps> the artwork on the fucking strawberry one. Oh, shut your face. That is, she's so cute. Look at her. She's like a fucked up um, strawberry shortcake doll. <laughs> She's like, um, remember like the little cupcake dolls from the 90s? I love those things because they actually smelled like, you know, fake chocolate, um, which I'm pretty sure if I kept sniffing it, I probably would have had an aneurysm and keeled over, but whatever, you know, it was fine in the 90s. Toxic things were all the rage. <gasps> oh my God, the maple bacon, I cannot stand it. I just wanna, f oh my God, I wanna squish this. <laughs> I love this. I love it. And I'm so mad that the shadow quality sucks, asshole. <laughs> because I want to just put this on my face. Now, I have like their blushes and the highlighters. Like those have been really good. But when it comes to eyeshadows, they just burn. <sighs> and now I'm sad. I'm really sad, actually. Honestly, I'd rather not uh, decide to blind myself by purchasing this. But I'm going to be nice tonight because I've said a lot of weird things. <laughs> product. So I'm just going to call this a food theme makeup item. And by far this has been the cutest one as of late and it crushes my fucking soul that I can't use it. Next. Next. 
I really thought this was Rare Beauty and I was so thrown off that it wasn't. I was like, oh, it's not? Huh, okay. So uh, Hard Candy came out with the Glostopia Lip Repair Oil. I fucking think they're so fun looking. They kind of look a little dildo-y. <laughs> They look a little dildo-y plus Rare Beauty, so it's been an interesting combination. They're eight bucks a piece. They are meant to revitalize lips with an intensely hydrating formula and shine with a plush doe foot applicator, vitamin E and jojoba oil to keep lips cushioned, soft, and moisturized. Smooth finish, never sticky. So they're eight bucks a piece. You have Crystal Clarity, Peach Dream, Pink Paradise, Scarlet Bliss, Berry Divine, and Deep Desire. I wanna try these. You know, I actually want, so now that I'm like drugstore queen, I'm dubbing myself drugstore queen, and there's one that I have haven't um, picked up yet and that's hard candy. I feel like I have tried some hard candy in the past but not enough for me to remember my experience with it. So now I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below because I think hard candy is sold at Walmart and your girl gotta go to Walmart, okay? I gotta be one with my Floridian people. <laughs> I gotta go there this weekend. So let me know if you do have anything from Hard Candy. Uh, what are things that you like? Or what are things that you don't like? Cause you know, we all have different opinions. I might like something, you might hate it, vice versa, whatever. Tell me everything that I should pick up from Hard Candy. And I will definitely do like a first impressions of it and hope that these uh, little suckers are gonna be there because I really, really wanna try them. I'm so curious to know more about the brand. I think for today, um, I'm gonna say kind of major copycat vibes because they remind me even going all the way down to kind of like the logo placement. I don't know, it's like really reading Rare Beauty to me. But also like, okay, wait, maybe I'm misremembering this brand, but I remember, I think when I was a kid and like a kid being like 10 years old, reading Seventeen Magazine because, you know, I was like a trendsetter. Um, I remember seeing ads, I believe, for hard candy. And didn't they only have nail polish? Am I fucking up that? Am I like bearing seen bearing this shit? Hard candy, 90s nail polish. I fucking remember. Yeah, they had fucking nail polish. And I remember I thought, oh my God, those are so cool. Never could get one. I should go on fucking Macari right now and see if I could try to buy it. So I guess that wouldn't be good, huh? Uh <laughs> Oh my God, teen, all right, so I kind of found this like one website that showed top 12 90s thing, teen spirit deodorant, <gasps> bitch. Oh, Noxzema, mm -hmm. oh, CK1, yeah. Herbal essences, oh, the herbal essences shampoo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bior, pore strips, sun in. I fucking love sun in, it turned my hair orange. Bonnie Bell lip smackers. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Roll on glitter, absolutely. Scrunchies, duh, no shit. Bath and Body Works anything. Bitch, Bath and Body Works still now, okay? <laughs> Sweet pea forever, all right? Caboodles. <laughs> Can I tell you, I am so mad at my mom. <laughs> because I wanted a fucking caboodle and she was like, no, what are you gonna put in it? And I'm like, I don't know, my stuff? Uh. Now granted, I wasn't no like fucking Harriet the Spy and shit, okay? But like, I had things to hide, uh. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted a caboodle case and my mom said no and she never bought me one. So, later in life, yeah, no, Alex bought me a caboodle case for Christmas and I cried. And you know what? I haven't put anything in it. <laughs> my mom was right. God, fuck me. All right, anyway. Um, so I want this. Uh <laughs> Trip down memory lane. I wanna try this. Let me know uh, what I should pick up from Hard Candy, but this is uh, reading to me Rare Beauty, so we're gonna call it Major Copycat Vibes, and I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Next. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, I am so excited. All right, so this is only available in Asia, damn it. All right, so Benilico, which I really do like Benilico. Any product that I've ever tried from Benilico has been really, really great. They're coming out with my favorite, favorite, favorite lollipop of all time, Chupa Chups. And the product is called To Clean It Zero. So there's a cleansing balm and then there's a cleansing balm pore clarifying. I don't give a shit that I, this has nothing to do with the actual skincare product. Like I could fucking care less. I don't care. The fact that it just has its logo and it's like not even cute packaging, like Rude Cosmetics, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the corner. Their collaboration, it was it was an interesting mix for sure. It was a mixed bag of treats. Happy that I tried it, but overall like, did I really need to get it? Did I? No. But when I see this, this isn't like not even putting the fucking effort in as that packaging, like Rude Cosmetics killed it with that packaging. This is just, you literally slap the fucking logo on it. I don't. <laughs> 
there's like, I don't know, like I'm a little disappointed because it could be cuter. I expect more from Asian packaging. Like I expect more because their shit usually looks so fucking cool and so fun and so adorable that it puts pretty much anything that comes out of America to shame. <laughs> Like nothing, all packaging is garbage, okay? This should have been and could have been so much cuter and instead it's just a regular fucking, you know, jar with just the, the Chupa Chups logo on it. Uh, do I want it? Absolutely. Am I gonna buy it? Probably, <laughs> if it ever comes to Yes style, yes, yes. But I love it, I love it. <laughs> Again, I really do like the company, so I'm excited for this little crossover, which doesn't make any fucking sense, but I'm here for it. So with that said, we're gonna call this even more skincare and we're gonna keep on keeping on. Next. So I recently did a video about makeup that I'm disappointed about and I forgot to include this because this is something that I'm still disappointed about. And I think it's because I was hyping it up in my mind for so long that when I actually got to play with the product and it was just okay, um, it just really broke me internally. So uh, I'm talking about the House Labs uh, blush formula. Now I love the House Labs foundation. I love the bronzer. I have been really enjoying the shit out of those. Ooh, the setting powder, fuck me up Santa. I love it. But when it comes to these blushes, <sighs> honestly, if we're gonna be real honest here, they're like not memorable. <laughs> they're downright forgettable. And it breaks my heart because like, this is gorgeous. Like I love the compact. It's like giving me everything. I love the pan embossing. I love this color specifically. This light pink purple, this lavender blonde. Fuck me up. All right, I want it. But then I remember the blush that I do have and I think to myself, did I really need this? No, there is nothing interesting about the formula. It's so wild to me because I feel like when I think about the highlighter or the bronzer or the foundation or the setting powder, I, I'm like immediately I can give you 10 reasons why I like it. But this one, I, I I, I have, there's like nothing. There's just nothing. I got nothing. Other than like nice packaging, like I don't really have anything like nice to say or even really bad to say. It's just a letdown. Like I expected the coming of Christ. Didn't fucking happen didn't happen. And it just breaks my heart because it's $38. This shit's expensive. And I want it to like fulfill that love and <laughs> make my broken heart whole. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I got some real severe daddy issues and I don't want to go to therapy for it. I was hoping that this blush was going to be that for me. And it wasn't. You know how fucked up that is? Like I still have my issues. <laughs> I know, I hear you, like you're putting a lot of faith in the blush, but come on, if the other products are so fucking amazing, wouldn't you think that as well? Duh. Right. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna keep drinking. Point is, I'm sad. So when I see this, I go, there's no reason to even get this shit on sale. There's nothing unique or fun or entertaining about it. It's just a blush, a blush that has such forgettable results that you will even forget that you have it in your collection. I can't wait to declutter mine. <sighs> Anyway, with that said, I'm gonna call this I'd rather not. I'd rather not spend $38 on a thing that I'm gonna forget about in three minutes. Next. I am thoroughly confused about this one because it doesn't make any sense to me, but here we are. So IGK is <laughs> okay, having a collaboration with Emma Chamberlain, but not Emma Chamberlain specifically, more like Chamberlain Coffee. I don't, what, what does matcha have to do with coffee? What does it have to do with coffee? Asking for a friend, I have no idea. So anyway, it's available now. This is a dry shampoo that lifts dirt and oil while adding instant volume and light texture for an instant refresh. Matcha plus 3% active cleansing powders for $32. I really like IGK, although I will say ever since discovering Amika, <gasps> bitch, Amika is great. Like I am obsessed with their dry shampoos. Like their dry shampoos are really great. I used to just only fuck with IGK. I'm like, IGK who? Even though I really, really do love IGK, I'm more in line now with Amika. That said, I'm fucking confused about this because it's it's such a, a product that is like a collab with someone that just like not known for makeup. In this case, it's hair care, but whatever. We're just gonna kind of lump it in that category. It's like, it's a coffee company. And I don't understand what matcha has to do with hair care. And then that, that could totally be like just me being an idiot, which is probably mm, a thousand percent true. <laughs> Maybe there is something to, actually, you fucking let's google it what is matcha in hair care what does it do oh 
Six green tea hair benefits. Okay. Oh, God, that's a lot of words. I need bullet points. Ooh, there's a man that looks like an old man in the sea captain. He uses matcha. What? Okay, hold on. Uh... <laughs> Okay, for pollution, dirt circulating in the air, wet inducing workouts and no wash days can make your hair feel sticky, dirty and lackluster. Keep your hair feeling and smelling its best. It's essential to have a deep cleansing, hydrating step in your hair care routine. Matcha can deliver both of these. Oh, okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. Uh, old man in the sea fucking sold me. Okay. Fine. 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 So yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense, but still I'm going to call it a collab with someone not known for makeup because it's a coffee company and I just feel like coffee and hair care. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, but, but now I'm kind of intrigued to try matcha, just not at that $32 price point. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, so yeah, no, no, not interested, but kind of intrigued. Next. I, I fucking love this. <laughs> I fucking love this. So uh, this is from the brand Perfect Diary. Never heard of them up until today. And uh, when I saw this, I was like, <laughs> are you coming for my fucking American Eagle elf palette? And I think you are. I think this is so cute. I don't know why I really like denim so much. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna turn into a fucking fetish at some point. It's just weird. Um, but anyway, so there are two palettes and they're $40 a price. Ah, okay. Uh, in the $40 piece, they are, oh, they're eyes and cheek palettes. Oh, well, that explains everything. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. I want this. Oh, I hope it's textured. Oh, bitch. I hope it is. Okay. Anyway, so you have the denim orange. You have the denim pink. You have some lip products as well as a blurring loose powder. And I mean, the powder, bitch, that looks cute too. The packaging looks adorable. It's everything but like the lip products. Like I could kind of give two shits about the lip products. Like who cares? Um, but I, I love, I love this kind of light ethereal makeup that I usually find from Asian brands. There's something about it that's so soft and delicate that's really really pretty it's like wispy and ethereal i feel like a demure fairy like i fucking love it so when i see these i kind of get that vibe and i kind of want both of them but not for 40 dollars like i feel like if they were like maybe 25 i'd be like fucking here's my fucking debit card take it run with it but 40 like 80 bucks for these oh i wish there was like some other things in that palette maybe throw on a fucking highlighter i feel like that would be like a little bit more exciting for 40 40 dollars <laughs> I don't know. But you know what though? It's only $40. <laughs> what could I possibly, you know what? I might, I, I should buy this. <laughs> I'm a fucking mess. <laughs> it's kind of begging the question, I need to try it. <laughs> I love how I went through this whole thing of like, no, 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 you don't need it. And now I'm like, you know what? I mean, for science purposes, we kind of need to know if it stands up to the, <laughs> to the elf palette, which is hands down one of my favorite purchases this year. That's how fucked up this year is. An elf American Eagle palette, a denim palette is literally giving me all the feels. Okay. <laughs> so when I see this, I'm like, I kind of want this <laughs> and I think I'm going to kind of get it. We got to try it out for science. Do you know what I mean? We have to. I do want to try that blurring loose powder, but it's 35 bucks and I know it's not going to be my cover girl. It's just not going to be this little guy right here. So um, I'm not going to do that one, but we need to get the palettes for science. So I'm going to order this when I get home because I feel like my luck, I'll order it and it'll show up the day that I'm gone. And then again, my anxiety will be through the roof wondering if the cranes took this package as well. So yeah, uh, we're going to call this buying for science and we're going to keep on keeping on. Next. Can I tell you, I feel like such a basic bitch, but I really love Summer Fridays. The stuff that I have tried from their lip product to their little skin tint to their moisturizer, their the Dream Oasis moisturizer thing, or the serum, whatever the fuck that is. I'm, I think I'm on like the third bottle of it at this point. I love Summer Fridays. I feel like such a basic bitch, Coachella going, Starbucks drinking, Ugg wearing bitch, but I fucking love it. I love it so much. It's one of those products that I'm like, you keep me young, you know what I mean? That's how I feel when I look at it. I'm like, oh girls, you keep me young, thank you. And when I see this, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to put this all over my face. Fully knowing that it's it's just a blush. It's just a blush stick. Like, <laughs> it's a balm lip and cheek stick. Is it gonna be that revolutionary? Probably. <laughs> Probably, okay? Because everything that Summer Fridays that I've tried has been everything that I wanted to be and then some, okay? So this is actually gonna be really, really good. 
Now, granted, the shades are very boring. They're very basic bitch shades, but I feel like that's kind of, you know, the case because there's a lot of basic bitches in the universe and they gravitate towards like these dusty colors. But I'm low-key really fucking excited about it. Um, I don't think I can call this anything except give it to me now, daddy. But I can't wait to get these in my possession so I can rule the world and be one of those bitches that are drinking my $8 latte while totally justifying the price of guacamole being $29 a pound. You know what I mean? I want to be that bitch. And I feel like buying these will get me one step closer. Next. <laughs> Next. The next product is from, I hate this. Um, I hate this so much. <laughs> Um, so Janessa Myricks is also coming out with the Yummy Skin Microfiber Velvet Sponge for ten dollars, and it just it it it, it I, I I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this. This looks like the belly of like a shaved animal. You know what I mean? I don't I don't like this. I have. I, you, do you see the panic in my voice right now? I've had microfiber sponges. They 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 they, they don't look like this. And I, maybe it's the color that's throwing me off. It looks like someone's scalp or the underbelly of a cat. <laughs> or a pup. Like, it's just, it's freaking me out. And I, I don't fucking like it. I don't like it. Also kind of looks like if someone shaves their head and it's like, well, now you're getting like little fuzzy hairs. Like, it kind of looks like that. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this. Oh God, it's so, it's so, oh God, the oh, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> The thought of just feeling it literally is giving me the fucking ick right now, okay? It's, it's literally making me want to cry. <laughs> Curl up into a ball, okay, and cry. And besides that disgusting thing, there's also a Velvet uh, Puff Duos, which by the way, just go to fucking Amazon. You can find literally 50 of them for like $10. Like do yourself a favor. Looks like you have a complexion brush, which honestly doesn't look super exciting. Looks like a dome shaped brush. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm kind of like, eh, not really feeling that one. But the thing that's scaring the shit out of me is the fuzzy sponge. And I fucking hate this. And this is what nightmares are made of. And I hate it. And I fucking hate it. I hate it. So I uh, know this is an absolutely no, no for me, dog. No. Bye. <laughs> In and out. Nothing. This is gross. Next. Okay, okay, we had to take a couple minutes there because that was traumatizing. Oh, I gotta call Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, come save me. So this is fucking everything. I really like these. These look really fucking cool, but I don't want to buy them without Michelle's stamp of approval. So this is from Valentino and this is their special edition Go Cushion Foundation SPF 50. You have it in colors of pink and noir. I fucking love both. I would be that bitch to get both of them. Fully knowing that I'm probably not gonna fucking use them. Just like, I just want to look at them. And it looks like it's a velvet, is it a velvet or plastic compact? I don't know. It looks fucking cool though. It looks so fucking cool. Now I'm obsessed with their foundation. Their foundation is great. So I'm hoping that this would be kind of similar to that. Otherwise it's a fucking shame. But I, I really like this one now but it's just one of those products that I'm like I know you're gonna be really expensive and I just I just no I rather <laughs> shall just like let me know how it is and if I should go purchase it or not you know what I mean like that's that's kind of where I'm at now with a lot of expensive stuff because I don't know have you tried drugstore lately drugstore's drug drugstore drugstore and drugstore are fucking <laughs> killing it. They're killing it. I'm going to keep drinking because like clearly I can't pronounce words anymore. And I think this stuff is going to help. Anyway, I fucking love this. I think this is so cute and I want it. Is it one shade that's horrible? <laughs> It's horrible, but actually I, I can't even tell. It doesn't even really say anything. It just is coming soon. So I guess this is like a, we'll put a pin in it, a TBD, and hope that I can guilt Michelle uh, enough to pick this up so she can let us know if it's good or not. I gotta get my back phone, <laughs> my MW phone, and I want it to be red. I need to have it like fixed into the wall. Too bad I live on the other side of the fucking country. Otherwise I would just have like a Batman style light and I would just like shine it into the sky and she would just like whisk over in her Aston Martin in my brain like she is far more rich. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I want all of that for her. I really do. And then I want to go to Vegas and reap the benefits of it. Okay. Anyway, um, I want to know more about it, but I need Michelle to tell me if it's okay or not. All right. <laughs> Next. Oh, speaking of a fun purchase, this is something that if I keep drinking, I will fucking buy it uh, because look how stupid it is. This is so dumb. Why is, I was gonna say Too Faced. Why, why is Too Faced doing? 
Oh, you know when the drunk just hits you and you're just like, oh, I'm speaking fucking stupidity. That's where I'm at right now and I fucking love it. <laughs> Any hoosies. I want this. This is so stupid. This is Tom Ford blush. It's in the shade Love Scene. And there's a heart pan embossing. That is fucking wild. Like, I don't know why I've never seen. I don't think in my time with makeup, my time with makeup, what the fuck? That's a weird way to say that. But anyway, with my, I guess my time with makeup, the time that I've had, stop saying it like that. Can you just get in my brain? Just get in my brain. Cause like that's, I'm trying to say it in here. What comes out? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Try it from the top. In my experience, ooh, you sound good. Okay, hold on, hold on. Fuck, I fucked that up. I just, I jumped, I jumped too quick. In my experience with Tom Ford products, this is like, you know, it's actually reminding me of like when I was under 21 and I would come home drunk and, <laughs> and my mom knew I was drinking and uh, I would like talk to her in a specific way. Like I'm literally just channeling back to when I was like 19, 20. In my experience <laughs> with Tom Ford products, I don't think I've ever experienced, I don't think I've ever seen better pan embossing like this that took me 20 minutes <laughs> why do you watch this channel why do you watch me why do you why do you watch me in all my years on this earth why am i getting even more dramatic in all the years of time okay i've never seen pan embossing quite like this on a tom ford product doesn't mean it never existed it could have happened but i just never seen it so to me it never existed so when i see this i go <laughs> you shouldn't have now i want to buy it fully knowing that it's just gonna be it's gonna be good like i have some tom ford blushes that are good they're good are they the best luxury item that i have no no i don't even think they would come in the top 10. they're still very good but not enough to uh, be in the top 10. so when i see this i go oh i need to have this because it has <laughs> it has a heart and i know the if this was actually available and if i continue to keep delishing delishing what the fuck <laughs> Okay, hold on. <laughs> the fuck was I saying? <laughs> Long story short, if this was available right now, and if I keep drinking this drink, you best fucking believe that I am going to be buying this fucking thing. It's a got to have item when you're drunk. So I'm going to call this drunk me would totally purchase this and purchase 10 of them for my whole family <laughs> because I am stupid. Next. Oh, hello. So ELF, our good friends over at ELF, is coming out with the Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. Try to say that five times fast. Whew. Everyone's favorite poreless putty primer now in a silky weightless liquid. The hydrating formula delivers lasting makeup grip, a smooth finish, and skin loving squalene. This looks fun. I mean, it's giving me clearly, you know, fucking Tatcha Silk Camps vibes and not mad at it. Not a fan of their putty formula. I just, I, I didn't like it. I tried it like when it first came out 57 years ago and I hated it. I'm sure if you could find that video on this channel, it exists, but I would recommend not to because I mean, granted, I ain't no beauty queen, but fuck. Okay. <laughs> Thank God I'm funny. That's all I'm gonna say huh rough like it's bad anyway so um yeah i didn't like it so i kind of want to try it but i also um want to see some reviews on it first because my problem with the poreless one is that it was so matte and it like dried my skin out but to be fair when i think about the tatcha silk canvas product i really love the liquid version of the silk canvas because that one just worked with me so much better however all that changed when this came into my life ritual defeat thorn oil okay which by the way if you're ever interested in wanting to pick some of this up just use the code teresa 10 any hoosies so i kind of am intrigued but not intrigued because i just i know i love this thing so much okay <laughs> there are a couple of things that i found that i really enjoyed but for the most part like it's just hard it's just hard to go back it's hard but anyway i'm kind of intrigued i kind of want to try it but i also just want to see like reviews on it first before i decide to take the plunge so uh for that i say let's put a pin in this motherfucker but i like it and I hope if I do try it that it's better than the actual putty because I just I, I did not like it But this one seems a little bit more promising if it's gonna be anything like the top Soul campus Anyway, we say next next <laughs> next The next product is from benefit this is the whoa so soft <laughs> 
brow oil. I don't know why. When I see that, it's like, whoa, so soft. It feels like it's almost like, um, being sarcastic when it says that. Whoa, so soft. It's a conditioning brow oil. Brows feel soft, nourishing condition, enhances shine. Then there's a Hubba Brow Serum. So what the fuck is the difference? There's Reed Teresa, a, br <laughs> a brow enhancing serum. Okay, okay. I mean, that's cool. I guess, right? I, I honestly I didn't even hear a fucking brow oil before. I don't know what it was, what it does. <laughs> I was just like, okay, it's oil. But I think it's meant for those that laminate their brows, which every time I think of laminating brows, I just think of like laminating a fake ID. And that's what I picture when people laminate their brows. Um, but <laughs> neither here or there. <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm okay with the brow enhancing serum. You know, I think about my, my poor mother uh, back in the 70s. She... <laughs> She uh, tweezed her brows a little bit too much and now she just draws on like little, uh, almost like a me character style. <laughs> if she sees this, she will fucking kill me. <laughs> I love my mother, but she draws herself like a me character. <laughs> anyway, she would totally love this serum, but I think she's too, <laughs> she's, she's all about that me life. Um, <laughs> My mother's great. I love my mother. I can't wait to see her uh, next week. <laughs> anyway, I don't even know what I'm saying with this. I mean, the, the products are fine. Like, I really don't, I really don't give a shit. I don't laminate my brows. I, I don't think I would ever pick up either one of these uh, products, but kind of more into the brow serum. That one sounds kind of cool. Uh, the brow oil, kind of funny and weird, but hey, if you laminate your brows or you got some dry bits in your brows, you got an oil to, uh, I'm about to say revitalize those left <laughs> Revitalize those le I am drunk. Revitalize those leftovers. Mm-mm-mm. Next. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. I'm beyond obsessed. So Light Slacker, which is, it's so funny. Ever since buying the Polly Pocket collection, they're my new favorite thing. I am obsessed. Everything that I've had on my nails as of late has been Light Slacker, including this little number right here. I don't know, I call this like Goblin Delight. <laughs> It looks like a swampy green. It's just, it's fucking perfect. I love their polishes. I haven't had a bad one yet. And I bought a lot of them. A lot of, they recently actually just had a sale and I cleaned the fuck up. So I'm like, hello taco who? Like light slacker all the way. So I am beyond obsessed with this collection and I want to pick it up. So this is the limited edition Beyond the Sea, which Beyond the Sea quad, which is kind of giving me little mermaid vibes. And I love that. And I just think this is just so fucking whimsical and fun and I want want it. Although it's white nail polish, which makes me think of Tom Sandoval, which, you know, fuck that dude, like, ew. Uh, so I'm kind of like not living for that <laughs> white nail polish. Ah, he fucking, he ruined white nail polish. He really did. <laughs> anyway, but I love this. I don't have anything funny to say about this, except I want it. Um, fucking, I literally, I'm thinking about potentially signing over my 401k to this brand because I don't care what they put out. It could look like diarrhea. I'd be like, <laughs> I'm buying it. Just there's something about the formula that's just so nice and it dries so fucking fast and it barely chips like this is fan like where the fuck have you been my whole life where have you been I love you <laughs> I was about a hair trigger away from sounding like I was about to ball my fucking eyes out and like hold up a giant boom box outside of lights lacquer being like I love you um wow what the fuck uh, I'm just gonna whatever <laughs> I love this. This is fun. I can't call this anything except give it to me now. And I love you. Next. Oh, daddy. Hello, daddy. Our Lord and Savior, Daddy Colourpop. He's back at it again, which I gotta say, the last time we did Makeup Bingo, I joked around and said that we're probably heading towards a recession because there hasn't been a lot of, um, I was about to say makeup bingo. Color pop releases. Um, but you know what? They're kind of coming out of the woodwork now. And here we are with this beautiful ultra lip matte blotted and glossy. It's your ultra faves. Just got an ultra makeup. Fucking ultra. Ultra makeover. Our iconic ultra lip is back with a new and improved formulas full of lip loving ingredients, which reduce smudging, prevent color shifting, and are extra moisturizing. They're $9 a piece. They're going to be coming out by the time you see this. They'll already be out. And I got to say, I'm actually 
actually low-key excited. I hate ColourPop lip products. I think they're mostly garbage with the exception of a handful that I found, I would say this year and last year that I've literally just been loving the shit out of. But unfortunately, they're few and far in between, right? Because sometimes the lip kits scare the shit out of me. But then they'll release something like this, which is the glossy lip stain line, which if you ever see the ColourPop, color, God, you are ColourPop. If you ever see the Jungle Book, no, fuck. It's a small world. If you ever see it, if you ever see It's a Small World, get it. This whole lip set. God, you're so good. You're so good. Anyway, so I'm really excited to try these uh, because if they have new and improved formula, sign me the fuck up. I'm not so interested about the matte ones because I have dry lips. I'm not a matte boy. I'm a glossy boy. So I hope that the formula is gonna be really good and I'm gonna like it and love it. Uh, because when I look at these colors, <laughs> bitch, okay? These are a basic bitch's dream. I love them, I love them. There's so many good like nude basic bitch colors that I am just, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So I do get ColourPop PR. And if I do get this one in PR, I'll be more than happy to showcase the goods because you bitch, you gotta try it. And if I don't get it for some weird reason, I'm gonna go pick them up because I need to try them. I wanna try them. Now they literally have piqued my interest because they said that it's a new improved formula. Um, and I'm glad that at least that they're kind of revamping things, but I'm kind of like, I don't know. I felt like a little worried, do a little bit of a wellness check because I wanna see um, what else they are coming out with this year. They've been a little light on stuff, which is been really nice you know refreshing but I kind of miss the oldies when we used to get like seven collections in one week and people would be outraged like <laughs> I miss like, you know, the fire and brimstone. Can we like bring it back a little bit? Cause I want to like yell about something instead of just clearly just getting drunk and not saying words correctly. <sighs> anyway, I'm excited <laughs> to try these and I love it. So with that said, we're gonna call this ColourPop. Daddy, come back to me. I love you. And I can't wait to put it all over my mouth, which sounds really gross when you think of it in that sentence. Let's not linger too long. Next. Well, my little tartlets, we have hit motherfucking makeup bingo and I'm excited. Yes, I'm a little drunk. Uh, and I think I'm gonna go buy those Be Perfect. Nope, wrong brand, Teresa. Pretty Jane. Nope, that's not even it. Perfect Diary. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go buy, nope, can't buy them. You're leaving, you're leaving. You're leaving the state. I'm gonna put a note in my calendar to buy them on the day that I'm <laughs> leaving so that I know fully that I will be home to receive said packages. Now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you were interested in any of the products in today's video. And if you are, let me know because I would love to hear from you. And I just, um, I just wanna know. I just wanna know what you're into. That sounds really gross and sexy, but kind of sexy. Yeah, I like sexy, it's better than gross. <laughs> I want to know what's, um, you know, stroking your pickle. That sounds even worse. Where was I going with this? I went, <laughs> Sorry, my brain restarted. Um, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below what you thought about this week's makeup products. A lot of them are kind of boring. I know, like it's summertime, y'all. Makeup companies don't give a shit. They're not gonna start rolling out stuff until about August, and then it's gonna be like holiday, 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 nothing. So um, let's just go on summer vacation. I'm gonna put up my gone fishing sign. What am I saying? <laughs> Just let me know what your thoughts are. I just want to hear from you. Anyway, definitely go check out Imperfectly M as well as their Twitch. And uh, with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and to my beautiful, wonderful patrons and YouTube members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, actually. But ultimately really fun. Garbage about a float. Couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. Yes, I have new glasses that I just like add that in there but anyway i just want you to just like live in my belly and we can be one and kind of like a kangaroo situation i think it'll be fun but then wait no you would live in my pouch anyway if you want to know what's currently in my face if i remember i'll put everything down below if not uh, you should out of luck anyway i'll see you little pumpkins later bye